नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल आई हैव अ वेरी शॉर्ट एडिटोरियल फॉर यू टुडे आई वांट टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट द केरला स्टोरी लेट्स गेट इनटू द शो एंड टॉक मोर अबाउट इट डायरेक्टेड बाय सुदीप तो सेन एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय विपुल अमृतलाल शाह केरला स्टोरी अकॉर्डिंग टू द ट्रेलर टॉक्स अबाउट दिस गर्ल कॉल्ड शालिनी उन्नी कृष्णन फ्रॉम केरला who was converted into islam and then later she was found in an afghanistan jail a taliban governed ruled afghanistan jail where she claims to say that there are 32000 girls who are converted to islam and they are all jailed story is somehow what i understand is a, a typical love jihad story a indian girl converted this is what i understand based on teasers and others so please bear with me if uh, they surprise uh, when the when the film is aired but this is what i understand a hindu girl in love with a muslim person converted into islam after marriage taken to syria and then joined isis and then became a terrorist now finally ended up in jail regretting why did i do this and it was forced on me it was part of a big plan the reason i wanted to do today's editorial though it is like i told you it is not a big editorial what i want to do tell you i found it is very important that we should talk about this first of all as an indian and as a person who travels across india as a malayali who goes to kerala quite often i have never seen i am 53 and in my 53 years i have never seen a girl being forced to marry a muslim and this muslim who marries her only with the strategic planning of converting her to a muslim and then taking her to syria and then making her a terrorist i have never seen an incident in my life i would beg of you if any one of you my viewers have seen heard practically not heard heard to whatsapp tells you hundreds of stories if you have seen anybody around you relatives friends people who you know acquaintances anybody please write in the comment box please narrate that story in the comment box you see these are stories which are told these are stories which are made and technically any and every person including forums where you know i was debating in forums where i am debating where i have called people and said show me show me one person who you know i have not got anybody who stood up and said i know a person who did this ah baba i have never got a person to, uh, who has who has come and told me this so i am asking you pleading to you for the sake of this nation for the sake of of harmony in this nation please let me know do you know anybody who has done it that's my question number 1 my question number 2 chalo theek hai na you say that there are two or three people who have done it you see i i ask you a simple question there has been plane accidents okay there has been plane accidents so what do you say stop planes no more plane plane crash hua ab bhi plane mein nahi jane ga plane is made to kill people would you agree to it road accident would you stop walking on the streets train accident would you stop trekking trains there are aberrations in case i am still telling you i have not seen heard of one such case genuine case i have not seen it but if you are saying that it has happened if people say it has happened if somebody is saying it has happened you are taking one case or two case or three case and saying that okay done marrying a muslim man marries a hindu girl matlab love jihad are kya hai ye kya hai ye Does it make sense? Isn't it same as saying that oh, one accident happened in the train? No, don't travel in the train. Train is made to kill people. Isn't it the same as that? Think about it. My point number two. My point number three. My point number three. Thirty-two thousand cases of people going to Syria, people converting in Kerala. My God. My God. What? Where are we getting these figures from? where are these figures who is authenticating these figures because i will tell you i will tell you now let me tell talk to you facts 
and facts the way it is. In 2020, responding to a question on whether the center is aware of, of Kerala High Court's observation that there is no case of love jihad in Kerala, the Ministry of Home Affairs told the Lok Sabha in a written reply that love jihad is not defined under the extent laws and no such cases have been reported by any central agencies. No such cases have been reported by any central agencies, which is what I am trying to say too. We have one of the best intelligence agencies in our country. Ours is one of the best. No central agencies, no such investigating agencies have ever said, Ale, Baba, there's love jihad, Baba, attention. Hai. You think if there was love jihad, they wouldn't have reported it? They would have kept it secret? Till what? It, it, it blasts off? Number one. Number two, 32,000 cases of our people, our girls going and getting arrested in some country like Afghanistan. You think our investigating agencies, our external affairs ministry, our... Uh, Covert agencies, raw and others will not have information about this, will not have data about this. Are they will have data, ka? they will have their fathers and mothers and grandfathers name with them. That's the way our agencies operate and that's the way it should operate. You think we won't have it? I mean, people are just making claims and because it sells in the society, we are selling it. We are selling it. You see, the last point I want to make Creativity is a very difficult process. It's a very difficult process. Been in advertising for 30 years and I can tell you this with absolute confidence. Creativity is a very difficult process. To make something creative and superbly creative, it takes phenomenal amount of talent. Phenomenal amount of talent, phenomenal amount of dedication and phenomenal amount of diligence to what you want to do. Diligence to your job. It takes tremendous amount of effort. The easier way out is to catch topics which fancies the mass. Catch, take up topics about hate, about, you know, going against one community. Make a film. Exaggerate the story. Make a community, paint a community black. And you'll have huge takers for it. Huge takers for it because people per se, and I, when I say people, I include myself, per se, they like controversies. That is why reality television sells in this world. Why reality television sells in this world? Because that is the only place where you can see two celebrities abusing each other. And people like it. Why? controversy That doesn't require that much creativity, does it? Why? Because you are picking up a controversy and you are you're platforming it. Sells. Likewise, you can't make creative movie, can't think of great stories, can't think of brilliant uh, uh, plot, can't think of it. So pick up uh, a plot that is working, exaggerate it to the, to the nth level, package it, put it up and uh, it's a hit. I don't want to say other films, the, name the other films who have done the same, but we all know what I'm talking about. Please, please, spreading love, spreading togetherness, is very, very difficult. Very difficult. But if that's done, we have a beautiful country for our future. We have a beautiful country that we can present to our future generation. Spreading hate is so easy. Like this. Like this. But then, you are creating a kalyug for your future. You are creating a disaster for your future. And somewhere down the line, somewhere down the line in history, you know, you will never be known as a creative person. You will somewhere down the line be known as a person who creates hate. And that's nowhere close to creativity. This is my observation. And uh, like I said, I have not seen the movie. I am just commenting on the basis of whatever I have read. And I don't even want to comment on the movie. I just want to comment on the concept of things like Kerala story. That's the point. Thank you so much for watching me and I'll see you tomorrow at 10 p.m. And tomorrow will be with an interview. That's dialogue. Till then, Namaskar.